No, because you're not actually our fiance. I don't care. Alright, so here's guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the title, we are doing another episode. Guys, the last episode it ended off with us staying in his apartment and then we're then he's like, you're staying with us. And I think that's how it ended. So we're gonna just jump into it, see what the teen drama is and what happens today. And what's also my dog is scratching at my door. <laughs> A little quick break there, but we're just gonna jump into it again and jump into it and see what happens today so let's do it all right let's see what's gonna happen why do i have a bedroom in your apartment because you'll live here from now on obviously huh those rumors with you and reese got out of hand <laughs> really you could just be like oh that's your lawyer you could clear the whatever i told olivia to let the press know that you and i are moved in together <laughs> without asking me you just did that Okay, cool. You did what? As well as the fact that we're engaged. Mmm, lovely. Now everyone knows. Now it should be clear to everyone that you belong to me. <laughs> the way he's like, you belong to, excuse me, I'm sorry. We are not your dog. <laughs> we're human. But also I'm like, mm, are you okay? She's just not freak out, stay calm. Calm. No, not calm, wrong. Am I? That wasn't part of the agreement. I was only supposed to act in front of your mom. Not the whole world. If you would have read the contract, you know that I'm allowed to change things whenever it's necessary. <laughs> this is your fault, girl. I, we can't even say this is your fault. You did not read it. What kind of contract is that? I told you to be careful, Alina. Yeah, clearly, because now you're just telling us what to do and where to live. And next thing you're going to tell us what to eat, what not to eat, and everything. Yeah. His voice deep and determined. It became more and more clear to me just who I was dealing with. And, and then he's just on his phone. Friends are coming over. Oh, lovely. That's great. Can I have friends? Oh, wait. No, we can't. We are only allowed to have you. <laughs> yeah. Make yourself comfortable. How kind of you. You can call the maid when you're hungry or have any other inquiries. Not even ask you? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I had been so naive. Signing a contract with Caden Scott without reading it in its entirety had been a huge mistake. Not only was he smarter, richer, and more famous than I was, he was a lot more cunning. This is my first time dealing with a person of his caliber and it scared the shit out of me. This is supposed to be my new home. I mean, at least she's kind of cute. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty cool. Not my cup of tea. I mean, the view's really, really pretty, but it's not really my cup of tea. I wasn't into all this expensive furniture, nor being able to see the whole city in front of me. I preferred the simple life. What the hell? His friends. Caden didn't look like someone who had a lot of friends. Yeah. <laughs> the man was a control freak and seemed to be in a bad mood 24-7. He was also the CEO of one of the biggest business firms in the world. I bet you'd only trust a small circle of people with this amount of responsibility. I got curious. I wanted to know who belonged to Caden Scott in her circle. So let's go snoop some more. I also wanted to get back at him for deciding everything on his own, announcing me as his fiance, forcing me to move in with him. I wanted to make him regret his decisions, and I had just the right idea in mind. Hmm, what are we doing? Oh, I'm scared. Is she gonna like bring her lingerie out? I'm honestly scared what she's gonna do. Uh, why did I know? Why did I know this is what was gonna happen? I just knew it. That should do the trick. Yeah, 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 it definitely will. I didn't even have to pay for it. She just did it on her own. Oh, I'm so, and he's just answering, he's just hanging out with his friends with no shirt on. It's kind of weird. What's going on, Scott? You in marriage? The, the way they're laughing. This has got to be the most hilarious shit I've heard in a while. Don't make fun of him. Caden proved us all wrong. You helped him with this little plan, James. Even though I like you, I don't like you right now. Okay, this is your fault that we're in this situation. We all thought he was going to be the last one married and now he's the first. Congratulations again, man. So happy for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's laughing. Great. Can we talk about something else? Uh, <laughs> you're so in love. <laughs> you don't want to tell us about your girl? Yeah, where you've been hiding her all this time. I told you he has a secret basement. I knew he was a psychopath. Yeah, especially with that attitude. <laughs> no ordinary human can work it that much. Can you shut the f up? Oh, oh, clearly he has issues. Just a little bit. A lot of it. A lot. You're pissing me off. Mm, how do you have friends god damn hey show some manners you're gonna be a family man soon he's not having it oh okay i'm just kidding oh or is that oh no oh no girl hey El. oh no hey lena oh no oh hey guys oh all their mouths are open hi james <laughs> the way she's like unbothered is crazy and his back is turned so he doesn't know what she looks like. Oh, God. Nice to meet you all. I'm Caden's fiance. 
Hi guys. No. Oh my god. Oh. Oh girl. Oh girl. <laughs> oh, she just wants to get a soap. Yeah. Just, you know, hey. And she's just standing there. Good night. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be pissed and I'm so excited to see that. Oh, he got up. Excuse me for a second. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, that's so funny. I, honestly, slay girl. Slay it. His face. Oh, what was that? You just got a soda. What's wrong? Oh, play dumb. Coffee reply. Mm, the first one. Yeah. What do you mean? Why are you wearing that outfit? We're going to bed. You said make yourself comfortable. This is us making ourselves comfortable. Why not? You told me to be comfortable. See? You. Hmm. Kaden actually was speechless for once. Good job, girl. Yep. Hmm. But then. Oh, he's looking at us. And now. Now it's weird. <laughs> his eyes looked me up and down, not leaving out an inch of my body. His eyes darkened and his jaw's muscle twitched. Uh, hey, uh, the mischievous grin was wiped from my face. She's like, oh, just kidding. I'm actually scared. Honestly, same. Kaden looked at me like a hunter looked at his prey. <laughs> okay. Ready to devour what's in front of him. I mean, at least you have that effect on him. I'm like, mm, hey. And I realized what exactly I was wearing. Oh, girl. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Get him even more excited, put on some clothes and make him leave. You see, no, how would we do that? This is gonna be so fun! Not for me though, because I'm reading it, but it's fine. Oh, um, she's like, ever so innocently, I played with the tiny piece of fabric that covered my body. <laughs> my fingertips slightly glided over my stomach down my hip. I pretended like I did it unconsciously, even though I knew exactly what I was doing. Caden's gaze followed my hand like a snake followed the hypnosis of a snake charmer. Oh, he's like, see, even he, He's never that much in control. I took a deep breath and noticed how his eyes flickered to my chest. <laughs> you need to breathe? He gulped. Oh, I smiled. He seemed to regain his composure as his hand went through his hair. Don't do that again. Mm. Yeah, okay. His voice too low and too raspy. And then he left after shooting one last glance my way. He's like, gotta get one look in, you know? <laughs> oh girl, you're playing with fire with this one. As much as I wanted to continue my anger at my current situation, those heavenly soft sheets with what's got to be the most comfortable mattress I've ever laid on certainly didn't make it easy for me to be upset. I've never had such a good night's sleep. This bed was so freaking comfortable, I had a hard time getting up. Not only that, waking up to this view was insane. It felt like the whole city was at my feet. I wish I could afford this. I don't need any of this, honestly. Don't lie, the first one. <laughs> now I understand why rich people were so out of touch with everything. They're living a completely different life. And now I'm living this life too. Two days ago, I was almost about to be evicted and now I'm waking up in a 30 story high penthouse. What is going on? Oh, she's just waking up. Oh, hey, hey. Honestly, it's so weird. Jesus, it's only six in the morning and he's already dressed and ready for the day. I guess that's why he's a millionaire. Elena? Hey, the, something about the black tea. It will hit every time. Sir? Girl, don't call him sir. <laughs> call me Kaden when we're home. But we're supposed to be your fiance. Your fiance wouldn't even call you sir. Like, that's just, it's weird. You're supposed to be my fiance. Sure. Kaden. Mm, that's weird. It's weird. I think we both felt weird about it. Office rumors said Kaden barely talks to the people below him. And now one of his lowest employees calls him by his first name. I love how she's just in her booty shirt. She's like, mm. Weren't you hungry last night? Huh? You didn't ask for any food. I, I wasn't hungry. I wasn't hungry for food. Oh God. Honestly, these options are just so, like, they're really out there. They're, no, no. I wasn't hungry. Kaden. Who was that? Oh, is that his mom? Is that his mom? I told you to call before you visit. I'm your mother. I don't need to be called beforehand. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Scott, hello. Karina, was it? Uh, it's, n it's not even close, like at all. Alina, ma'am. Ah, it was obvious that Kaden's mom wasn't that fond of me. It's okay. The feeling's mutual, you're scary. I didn't blame her. She didn't know me at all. I was just some random girl that suddenly announces her son's fiance. I wouldn't like me either. Do you have any plans for today? I told you I worked to- I'm not talking to you, Kaden. Us? You want, you want to hang out? Me? Yes, dear. I thought we could go look at wedding dresses. Oh, right. We're supposed to be getting married. Oh, that's doing a lot. So what's gonna happen? Oh, okay, all right. Are you okay? Yes, we just got engaged mom. It's too soon to look at dresses. It's never too soon to look for your wedding dress. So, um, I glanced in Kaden's direction and I wasn't sure if it was a call for help or needing his approval, but the jerk only looked away and slightly sipped his coffee. Okay, clearly you don't care. It's okay, we just don't have to go to work. <laughs> I'm not sure if, great, we're gonna have a fun day together. I'll go to my room and get dressed quickly. Your room? I, I, no, um, she meant our room. Yeah, that's, that, that's, 
That's what I meant. Yeah. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. But none of our clothes are there. Okay, tap. Let's. Ew. The options are so. Like, what is this? I'm sorry. That ain't cute. This one's like cute though. Well, I, uh, kind of. It's fine. Let's do it. I'm scared. I don't know about his mom. I don't know about her. I so wasn't sure how it came to this. Did you find any dresses you like? Not yet. I think you should try this one. It'll look good on you. Agree to wear the dress, decline to wear it. We're just trying it on, so why not? Sure. Oh god, this is so weird. I'm wedding dress shopping with my boss's mom. Part of me felt bad for lying to her. Honestly, same, but she's kind of scary, so like, ugh. She just wanted her son to stop working so much and settle down. And now she's fake dress shopping with her son's fake fiance. Girl, you're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute though, honestly. Wow. Beautiful, weird. Weird. It is weird. Who is she talking to? What? <gasps> <laughs> of course she's here. Of course this bitch is here. Her. There you are, dear. I knew the dress would look good on you. Nice to see you again, Alina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you too. I lied. I couldn't stand her. None other than Olivia Fernandez, Kaden's press spokesperson, had joined us. Oh, I just saw Melanie from the window front and wanted to say hello. I won't bother you two for long. You're not bothering us, Liv. Of course not. Liv? <laughs> Kaden's mom loves you! You know you're always welcome, dear. Mm -hmm. Must be nice to feel welcomed and loved. <laughs> Agree with her, remain silent. You know what? They said if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all, so. Yep, nothing to say. You're too kind, Melanie. I love how they're on first name basis and we call his mom Mrs. Scott, yeah. So you're already dress shopping? We are. Can you believe Kanan actually found a girl he wants to marry? I was just as shocked as you. We're in the room with you guys. And then he found someone as pretty as Alina. That sounds a little condescending, girl. She's an eye candy indeed. You're too kind. Okay. Anyway, it was great seeing you again, Melanie. You too, dear. Have a great day, you too. I got my eyes on you, girl. You two seem close. Olivia has been with Kanan for a while now. She's an excellent employee. Yeah, she's also excellent at other things, clearly with Kanan. Smart, confident, and competent. I can see that. But let's see about you. <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> hmm? How about we have dinner together? Enjoy a more private chat? Mm, I don't wanna do that. You say yes and deepen your relationship with his mom, decline her offer, or make a bad impression. Honestly, I wanna say no so bad because she is so scary, but maybe she'll be nicer. She did call us eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'd love to, Mrs. Scott. Great. You work for Kaden, right? I do. I joined Scott Enterprises last summer. Kaden and you must have hit it off right away then. We did. I really admire his work ethic and dedication he puts into everything. I'm not too sure what he liked about me though. I'm sure there's plenty to like. My son is just as stubborn and well-headed as dad used to be. He wouldn't bring home any girl or propose to anyone. Uh-oh. Mm. Well, he didn't really propose to us either. He just kind of forced us to being engaged. I was relieved when he told me about you. You were? I thought he would work himself to death. He never took any breaks, no vacation. I was worried for him. He loves his work. He does, but work can't be your whole life. I understand. I can't even imagine doing half the work he does. My job is as exhausting as it already is. I can imagine, dear. His company has become massive over the years, but he never seems satisfied, no matter the number of achievements. I'm glad we had this dinner, Alina. I feel closer to you. Me too, mom. <laughs> The feeling's mutual, Mrs. Scott. Call me Melanie, dear. Mm, that's weird. I don't feel comfortable doing that either. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. And we're gonna break her heart when she finds out it's fake. Spending time with his mom made me realize just what we were doing, how serious it was. And the guilt inside me kept growing and growing. I needed to talk to him. I'm scared. He's not even home. Is he? He's not even here. There he is. Oh, he's working out. Sure, his tattoo switched arms. It was on the other arm. <laughs> Girl, don't look at him like that. That's creepy. What did I want to talk about again? Uh, not the sweat. Okay, that's nice. Girl, stop. No. Enjoy the view. Get a grip. Get, yeah. Girl, no. He's just a man. He's just a man. Sir, I mean, and Caden, we need to talk. Oh, I can't. Yes, you can. It's important. So is my workout. Um, I think you can uh, handle this for five minutes. I'm serious. My body doesn't look like this from doing nothing. Don't you want your fiance to look good? No, cause you're not actually our fiance, I don't care. A playful smirk was on his face. I, how did this man switch from cold emotionless boss to playful mischievous fiance within seconds? I don't know. He's like, I, he's, I don't know, he's hot and cold. Taking a break from a treadmill run won't ruin your body. Yeah. Do you work out? Yeah. 
<laughs> no. I do. I lied. <coughs> Girl, you love to lie. <laughs> My athletic abilities were that of an infant. You do? Excuse me, why are you looking shocked? It's pretty rude. Why are you so surprised? I said slightly offended. Your body doesn't look that athletic. Um, that's so rude to say to someone. What the hell? What do you mean by that? Excuse me? The first one, yeah. What does that mean? You look, what? Soft. Oh, that was rude. That is so rude. I, I'm not soft. Caden looked amused. Of course, he's bothering us. I mean it. Get off the treadmill. Why? I'll show you how it's done. Huh? Your form was off while running. My form was off? Yes. Then show me how it's done, Alina. Oh girl, you're gonna fall on your face. Um, <laughs> and she's wearing heels. You gotta click the on button. We knew that. I know. Don't laugh at us. You need to, uh, oh, um, not her falling with him. Girl, oh no, that looks so bad. To be continued. Girl, that's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing, but Guys, that was that story. We're living with him. I feel honestly bad that we're like lying to everyone, but it's his fault that we're lying to everyone. So, yeah. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all. Don't forget to tell yourself until next time. I'll see y'all later. Peace out, Scouts. Bye.